another video. I am Deanna Janae, if you did not know. So, today is going to be a different type of video, which is going to start my new content that I will be adding to my channel. Uh, what I want to call it. I don't know what I want to call the folder yet, but basically this is going to enter into the spiritual side, into my personal relationship with God. Um, some of you may know, and a lot of you may not know, that um, I am a praise dancer. Some people are familiar with what a praise dance is. It's just a type of worship through dance. There are other names for it. Um, I'll put that name in this video. It's very hard to say for me. I don't want to butcher it. But it's ba basically liturgical dance. I might be saying it wrong, but I'll put the word in here. But that's what some of you may know it as and other people may just know it as praise dance. Today, I will be making my own worship flags. This is the material that I purchased off of Amazon. It is um, white chiffon, okay? So um, I watched a video on YouTube about how to make your own flags because I could have just bought my own flag, but um, they are kind of expensive. And this was just going to be for my own personal worship because I plan on making more um, praise dance videos and actually posting it so, you know, everybody can see and, you know, hopefully, you know, help somebody see God and get delivered or saved. So um you just never know so i'm just gonna go ahead and place all of my dance videos on youtube as well this is what the fabric looks like when it's flowing you need two wooden dowels from walmart they are 66 cent a piece and some seam tape seam tape costs about a dollar now you're going to fold your fabric in half and cut in a semicircle so that you can have two equal sides Cutting the fabric is honestly pretty hard because it does not sit still at all. So it's going to seem like you're cutting a triangle, but it's okay. Just take your time. This is what we came out with. Is it perfect? No. Is it gonna be perfect? Probably not. So I'll probably come around this top edge and kind of smooth that out. But other than that, I think we can work with it. Okay, so now I have my second flag layered over top of that first flag and I'm just gonna use it as a guide since it's kind of see-through. So I have my flags both laid out down here and um, they're not lined up exactly but you can see over here on this edge this flag is a little bigger than the other one but I'm gonna just leave it because I don't want to like cut too much and then it be wopsided so um, we're gonna think of these flags as sisters and not twins plus they're gonna be on two different hands and y'all not gonna be able to see which one is bigger than the other plus 
when we go around it with our lighter it's gonna smooth out all of these jagged edges so if you can if you do this at home try to cut a little straighter than me because um especially up here I got really jagged right there so you have to really take your time with this so you don't have so many jagged edges so this is your straight edge of your flag okay take your wooden dowel um, you want to take this sticker off of there line your stick up to your flag now you want to give yourself enough room for so like just fold it over when you fold it over that's where your tape should be right here your tape is going to go right there so while you have it folded you can go ahead and take your seam tape and just measure it to the length of your stick um, cut it right here at the end you can't see but down here at the end let's see okay down here at the end I have like a little gap right here so I'm gonna take a little tiny piece and measure it and cut right there because we're gonna put that on at the end of the stick so that the stick can't keep going farther down and just fall out of your flag and now on this end you can do the same to this end if you just want the stick to stay in there but I rather seal the other end with my lighter instead of um sealing it with the seam tape. And hey y'all, it is the next day and I went and bought a lighter. Now we're going to use the lighter to seal all of these fray ends. So like all of that, we're going to seal it. Um, that's what the lady did on her video. So let's just see if that works with us. Oh Lord, I caught it on fire, y'all. Okay, so move very, very quickly. See, I just caught it on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow! Whew, and don't touch it either. Why did I just touch that? I'm so stupid. Hold on, let's make this easier for me. Okay, so with my scissors, I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of the really long strings. And then I'll go with my lighter and then seal it because the fire catches on to these strings and it just goes up the strings and um, it wants to continue to burn the fabric but we just want to lightly graze it so that um, it seals the fabric so that it won't continue to fray like this so we're now outside I'm going to show you how the flags look in full range of motion
Y'all not even gonna lie, my arms a little tired. There's a little resistance. Not that the flags are heavy, but I don't know, it's a little resistance right now. But anyways, um, let's go back in the house. Okay, y'all, so in conclusion, the flags turned out really well. Um, I still have to iron the fabric because it's a little wrinkly, but um, you can't see that from afar off anyway. Um, let's see, things that I would like to say. Um, be very careful and very steady with your hands when you're cutting the fabric. Also, when you are sealing the ends with the lighter, I actually would recommend the lighter that people use on grills that has the um, long, it's extended, you know, little <laughs> application, the one that you're like, you know, and it's, it's long. I think y'all know what I'm talking about. I'd rather you get a longer lighter than the one that you have to do like this because um, I have really burnt my thumb and wore it out from having to just keep do like this. I saw it was really windy so like the wind was kind of catching the flags and it made everything seem like really heavy but the flags are not heavy at all. Like this, this is very lightweight but outside when the wind was kind of carrying it it's like I was like fighting against the wind. Um, also um, I have to work on how I'm going to twirl the flag because the fabric will like wrap around itself. So um, I'm probably going to do another video of me just like trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to twirl both flags at the same time because it's a little easier just doing one at a time. Um, but overall, I love it. I think this is amazing. Like I just created my own worship flag like my own praise dance flag and I didn't spend a whole bunch of money don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what songs you would like me to praise dance to um I will all right so peace out